Hello everyone, GD Brick Films here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, but this is going to be a set review of the LEGO Spider-Man, Spider-Man and Ghost Rider vs. Carnage set. This is set number 76173, it comes with 212 pieces, 3 minifigures, and retails for $19.99 in the US. I'm going to get this thing built, and then come back with my opinions on it. Alright, so here's everything all built up. I'm going to go over uh, the minifigures, the build of the set, and then just give my final opinion on it. Alright, so starting up, we have our Carnage figure. This is the same Carnage that we got in the um, LEGO Spider-Man Rescue Bike set that came with Miles Morales. As you can see, if we remove that back tentacle piece, he has uh, some back printing there. And on the front, as you saw earlier, he has like a torso printing. Uh, the only thing that's different about this Carnage from the one we saw previously is that there's a little bit of a different tentacle build, uh, which I'll show you, like so. I don't have any complaints with it. I know there's some people saying that they wish there was a new Carnage figure, but personally in a $20 set, I mean, what do you, what do you expect? Not bad considering you don't see this figure too often, though if there is one thing, I wish that maybe they had... Uh, gotten this outrider piece and you know maybe a solid red instead of a black I and mean, other than that i don't see any problems with them including this figure or reusing it all right so next up is our spider-man figure this is new for 2021 but it's going to be the same spider-man used across all of the spider-man 2021 sets though this wave did not come with any leg printing or i should say dual molded legs uh did come with arm printing which is definitely a plus and there's actually a lot more different with this figure than the 2019 version than I actually first noticed so we'll take a closer look here in a minute. Now the first thing is that the, uh, the eyes on the first one are a lot more bold, they're a lot more open, less closed um, and that the webbing is done in black on this year's version as opposed to the dark red on the other. Um, on top of this you can actually notice that the spider symbol in the in the chest is different as well and um where this one sort of has like a little bit of like a grayish blue whatever you want to call shadow on the eye this one is just pure white so obviously the arm printing is a big thing personally i think i'm just gonna throw dual mode legs onto that figure or i don't even know just throw the arms onto this figure because I like them both, I'm not really sure if I like the black webbing or the like the dark red webbing uh, more, I mean it's definitely all up to preference. I like the torso a bit better on the new one as far as the spider symbol, but yeah, solid figure this year and definitely cool to have that arm printing. We can take a closer look here and see that he also has a standard back printing and uh, printing on the head as well in black and you can also see that it is different from last year's version as well new spider symbol on the back that's like a straight line as opposed to sort of the v-shape there much bolder up uh, top where the shoulders are and then once again that black webbing as opposed to the dark red lastly i'm going to be going over the ghost rider figure this is the robbie ray's ghost rider and it is a new and exclusive figure to the set uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is only the second ever Ghost Rider we've gotten in LEGO, so definitely cool to have. Now, uh, to anybody who doesn't know, this is all one piece between the head and the flame. I haven't had the... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'll just leave him like that. I haven't had the first Ghost Rider, so I'm not sure if the flame came off on that one. But, I mean, really no problem with it. Not a knock against it, just I haven't had the first Ghost Rider figure, so I was surprised to see that. Um, maybe a slight missed opportunity. I mean, if that flame piece came off, they could potentially add a second facial expression. But that might, you know, introduce a little bit of problems with the, uh, alternate facial expression throwing through the, showing through the back, considering it's translucent. But, I mean, that's just, that's not a knock against it. That's like a tiny thing they maybe could have done. But really no issue with it. As you can see, there's a torso printing there. No leg printing. Not really need for it. And on the back, we have standard back printing as well. I do wish that, like the first Ghost Rider, they included chains with this. 
translucent orange chain orange chains would be amazing here and you know i guess he's getting a full vehicle as opposed to just a motorcycle but i i think chains would really really just make the set even better than it already is um but yeah i think it would add a lot to the figure if he did have the chains but it you know that's just an accessory and there's no problem with him not having it so yeah solid figure exclusive and new cool to see cool to have and for the build of the set we're getting ghost riders 1969 dodge charger now some people some people are fans of this some people like this other people are really not happy i mean it's been a hit or miss in the lego community anyways uh as far as like from a car's standpoint how accurate it is and the stud shooters are killing a lot of people personally it doesn't bother me i don't think it's bad i mean lego did a lot with it in the way of playability like this these are this is a uh, accessories i mean this swaps out and you can just have it displayed as a standard dodge charger and obviously you have the stud shooters here and just fire them off fire them two at a time one at a time whatever you want to do um and i definitely think yeah i think lego did a great job i mean how much playability can you really have in a car like in compared to just a 15 dollars speed champions car like i'll swap it out for a minute this is a 15 dollars porsche uh, came with one figure and a few traffic cones now for five dollars more you're getting three more figures one of them being new and exclusive you're getting a new spider-man i mean it's it's a uh it's a license a little bit more coveted so i uh, yeah i do appreciate this and as i said these actually come off and you can display it normally which i'll show you boom like so now it's just a standard dodge charger now for those of you guys who uh who don't like what's it called the stud shooters on top i'll show you a quick way to fix that up uh if you take one of these pieces i don't know exactly what you'd call it spoiler i guess and you just need to put it underneath any like two by two sort of thing i'm putting this one in here fit it on top of these those beige pieces right and then to fill in that hole you can either get uh, a black tile or i'm just doing a gray one by four right. throw it in there and yeah not trying to be cocky or anything but personally i think this looks a bit better and it's more accurate so i will be displaying it like this but if you're a lego purist stud shooters are gonna have to stay i guess uh windshield and ceiling here just comes off like so and you can stick ghost rider inside the vehicle there's room for one person has a steering wheel there as well not much detail to be added and that fits right back on there like so back of the vehicle i mean well this gets patched up i don't have it patched up at the moment there you go i don't like the uh window in the back at all i think that's a little bit weak in my opinion but i do actually like the rear lights and i'll show you here lego actually added unnecessary detail but they have a little orange and uh, light yellow piece in there to sort of make it look more like a rear view light, which isn't noticeable. I said rear view light, jeez, <laughs> rear light, which isn't as noticeable uh, once the translucent red pieces are on there. If I can get this black tile back on, thank you. And on the other side here, I didn't take this part off, just showing you that there is more customization like so front not the best but i mean pretty solid all right so that was my final verdict and quite honestly i like this set a bit i mean i think it's one of the better like if not one of the best uh lego spider-man sets we've gotten in a minute and i'll tell you why it's not for like an overly impressive build or for amazing exclusive minifigures but it's the fact that it actually makes sense. I mean, we've been getting $20 Spider-Man sets, $30 Spider-Man sets, $40 for a while now. And they haven't made any sense whatsoever. It's just been an oversized Spider-Man vehicle that's dumb. I mean, Spider-Man does not need a big bulky trike or monster truck to get around the city of New York. I think we know this. And here we're getting a $20 Spider-Man set that does include a vehicle, but it actually belongs to ghost rider not him 
it's a, it's a lot less tired. I like this concept quite a bit. It's not a cheap, you know, useless vehicle build for Spider-Man that you're only buying for minifigures, but it's also not an overpriced playset either. Uh, so, I mean, I think it's one of the best of this line uh, as far as 2021 goes, and I think I'm definitely happy with it. Sure, there are some inaccuracies in the uh, charger and I get the stud shooters being an issue, but that's a quick way to swap out and I showed you guys how you can just make it look a little bit better, or at least in my opinion. So yeah, I do like this set a bit. I would recommend it. It's not anything where you're going to spend $20 and be like, oh, was that really worth it? No, I think this is definitely a way to go, th something to go through with. You're getting a new Ghost Rider figure, cheap way to get the new Spider-Man figure, and Carnage, who we don't see that often, and I think it's he's this is the only non-retired set that Carnage is in at the moment anyways. So yeah, I definitely recommend this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.